Hey guys, I'm not sure where the camera is. Right there. <laughs> I always have to look because it's black. I'm just sitting here working on a, um, what is it called? Wreath background for a uh, Christmas wreath for our county fair. <clears throat> and I thought I would film a little, <laughs> like a crochet and chat. I haven't done one of those in forever. My glasses are super um, glary and I don't need them right now. So I don't need to wear them. But uh, yeah, so right now I'm just making the the background, you know, the part that goes around the form for my Christmas one. And I'm not using a pattern for this one. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I'm going to make uh, the whole background of the wreath these these two colors. <laughs> it's um, Red Heart something. <laughs> Some green and hot red, I think, uh, for the background. And then I'm going to crochet a little Santa Claus, uh, Amigurumi, maybe. Maybe a little Santa. Maybe a reindeer. Some sort of Christmas character I'm going to put on there. And then I'm going to make like a little strand of um, Christmas lights to like loop on the top. And just, you know, some random Christmas stuff. <laughs> I looked for patterns, but I couldn't really find one that I wanted um, to make. And let's see, last year I made the snowman one. And the year before that, I did um, the Grinch one. And... Uh, the Grinch one won first place that year, and last year I think my snowman got second place. Um, I can't really remember. I think it was second place though. So, I'm working on that. I got my um, patriotic wreath done, and I will be showing that in my next No Catch Your Name episode, which I'm going to try to film tomorrow, Saturday the 9th, I think it is. I think today's the 8th. No, today's 7th, so it's Saturday the, the, uh, uh, the 8th. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Jessie's napping right now, so I thought I'd just hop on her phone and chat a little bit. So, this weekend, what are we going to get into? Um, Devin may have to work tomorrow. He doesn't know yet, for sure. He will know later tonight. Uh, tomorrow's also Pokemon Community Day, if anyone plays Pokemon Go. I will try to remember to put my friendship code in the description box, so that if you do play it, you can add me as a friend. I do try to play daily, and I always try to send people gifts, but I do have a lot of friends now. So, I think there's a limit of like 20 gifts you can send a day. So, sometimes I don't get to everybody every single day giving them gifts. But I do try to um, send gifts when I can. And I always try to get the friendship levels to go up so that I can get a lot of experience points and all that fun stuff. But I do play Pokemon Go like all the time. Usually on and off throughout the day, I will load it up on my phone and play it. And anytime we go anywhere in the car, I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, like if we're out at restaurants and, or shopping or something I'll have my phone <laughs> with it up so I could get kilometers and hatch eggs and catch Pokemon and all that jazz but anyways that community day is tomorrow we always go to the county next to us to uh, a park there they got a big really nice park there <clears throat> and walk around it and it has a ton of pokey stops and gyms at it so we can do everything there so it's supposed to rain so I don't know if I'll be doing that tomorrow if Devin works I will probably keep the car and me and Jesse will go Pokemon. I'll take his wagon and pull him around. If it's not raining. <clears throat> if it's raining, I may see if my mom or my sister or somebody will watch Jesse. So I can go do that real fast. Long enough to get some shinies on my account and Devin's account. And then go back and get Jesse and hang out until time to get Devin. If Devin doesn't have to work, there's no telling what we'll get into this weekend. Um... We always get into shenanig shenanigans and it's starting to get warm again. Well, it's already warm. It's been pretty hot actually. So that's usually when we get, we do all of our random running around trips and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. Devin's dad's band is supposed to have a concert tomorrow night. But it's an outdoor event that they're going to. It's like a uh, fest or whatever. It's got a bunch of different bands at it. So it may get canceled. <clears throat> Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Do one more roll of red. I thought about, when I was doing this, I thought about doing spike stitches in the red. But I thought it looked weird. And then when, you know, because it would be this way on the wreath. And it would go around, you know, in a circle. <laughs> I thought it would kind of look weird. So I, I went ahead and just was like, no, let's not do that. Let's just stick with regular stripes. And then we can add decorations by adding apple case <clears throat> so actually after i started making it with the red i thought about not doing with red at all and just doing like a solid green but i already started with the red so i'm just going to continue <laughs> but um 
I'm, I'm using pool noodles to make my forms. i seen somewhere that other people were using pool noodles to make wreath forms with instead of buying wreath forms. Because at our Walmart, a wreath form, a 12 inch wreath form is like, I think it's $5.97 or something like that for a piece of foam. <laughs> And, um, whereas pool noodles are 97 cents or 94 cents a uh, noodle, and you can get one form out of a noodle. I can't cut it exactly to be the right size as a 12 inch one, because that's just too much. I don't want to, like, try to make it perfect. So, what I did with my other one, that you'll see in the No Catch Name episode, is I just cut it and, like, made it a circle <laughs> and taped it shut. And, um, it's working fine so far. I think, uh, this next one I'll put more tape on to make sure it's a lot stronger. Hopefully that one doesn't come undone, but if it does, all I, all I gotta do is fix it, which is fine. But, uh, I like that idea. So far, so good. Um, so I did buy four more pool noodles, because our fair has five categories for reefs. It has Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, Patriotic, Halloween, and then another, it's, another, like a, you know, other wreath category. <laughs> so, um, I got my Patriotic one done. I've already got a pattern picked out for the Halloween one. And the Thanksgiving one. And then I'm working on the Christmas one. So then that just leaves me with the last one to do. And I think I'm going to make a St. Patrick's Day one. Because I want one for my house. <laughs> and uh, I can enter into the fair also. So that's cool. The last, um, the three years that I've been entering into the fair. I've been the only person entering crocheted reefs into the fair. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, and I've won a lot, and I think that that's why is because they're crochet, so they're different, and uh, they seem like a lot of time's been spent on them, which some, some of them are kind of difficult, but a lot of them, you know, they're just easy. They're just, people who don't crochet would think that it's more work than it actually is, but people who do crochet knows that it's just basically, you know, you make the form, which is basically a scarf, and then you just decorate it, so. But most of the reefs in the fair are, um... What is that stuff called? That meshy, totally mesh stuff. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> that people make reefs out of. Last year there were some really cool ones in there. There was a really cool like skeleton Halloween one that had lights on it. I think it won first place and my Halloween wreaths were on second. Or vice versa. I can't remember if I won first. <laughs> it's been a while. But yeah, I was going to make a Santa but because of all this red I think I will make a, a Rudolph or something. Because then it'll be brown, and I could put, you know, he had a big red nose, and, um, could maybe put, like, a little sweater on him or something. Crochet a little sweater. That would be cute. I don't know. I'll just get the base done, and then go from there. But what I was saying with the wreath is I can actually make it, you know, because pool noodles, I don't know how long they are, like, five feet long, maybe. You could make them pretty much any size you wanted. You could make them smaller or larger. The one that I made for the, um patriotic one it is about the size of a 12 inch one because i followed the pattern for that one and the only thing i had to do is make it wider because it was a little bit thinner and it wouldn't go around the pool noodle so i did have to add some and i'll show that in the no kitchen name episode so this one when i started it i made it wider than i normally do and then i took the pool noodle and i tried it on it I actually have a little piece of one still on the floor um to make sure that it would wrap around and be a little bit gap so i could sew it shut and then it would be tight on the pool noodle so, I measured it before I started <laughs> to make sure I wouldn't have to go back and add stitches, and hopefully I measured it right. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here doing that today. It's a rainy, gross day here today. It was a nice rainy day earlier. Like, me and Kat was even com commenting on it when we were driving earlier. I was driving. <laughs> and I was like, man, it feels good today. We had the windows down, and it was, in, like, it was like 70 degrees, and it was drizzly. And then when we went shopping and came back... <laughs> On the way back home, it just started downpouring like crazy. Like, could barely see in front of the car crazy. And then it's been kind of doing that on and off. But right now, it's brightening up a little bit. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 5.30, I think, in the afternoon. So, um, the sun's trying to poke out. But my plants got good and watered naturally. There's been a ton of birds out on my bird feeder. I had to refill it this morning. They ate every bit of it. Um... I've been seeing cardinals out there, male and female. I've seen a blue jay, a big giant blue jay, a few times. This morning I've seen them. We've had finches like crazy out there. Every now and then a random blackbird will make its way over there. But I don't think they like seeds. I think they eat worms more. Because 
They always just leave and go back out to the, the grass where they're picking worms up. There were some crows out there, which is really cool because that's one of my favorite birds. They weren't at my feeder, but they were up on the white pole and they were caught and it was really cool. There's two of them. And I've seen some songbirds, spar sparrows. I'm slowly learning our birds. But um, every morning and evening, I see a male and female cardinal out there. And that male cardinal is kind of a butthead. He runs all the other birds off. But whatever. There's been a lot of finches out there today. I like having them out there because in my mind it helps. Um, one thing, it's entertaining. I like watching them. And two, I, I feel like it's going to help with the bugs. <laughs> uh, in my mind, it's going to help with the bugs. Uh, we haven't had any issue with wasp birds out there trying to build nests. Early spring it did, but that was before we put the birdhouse out there. I mean, not the birdhouse. Bird feeder. And um, I knocked down their nest, you know, and squished them and got rid of them. And... Um, but since we got the bird feeder out there, I haven't seen any trying to come back. We did have a carpenter bee out there drilling a little hole, but even he's left, so I think the birds maybe ran him off. And then yesterday, um, there were some squirrels out there trying to figure out how to get to my bird feeder, but where it's hanging, they can't get to it. They were climbing up the post of the porch, you know, because we're in an apartment building, so there's people above us, and they have like a porch over our porch. So their, their porch's floor is kind of like our porch's ceiling. Um, and they were climbing up there trying to get to the bird feeder, but they couldn't make it. They, one of them even got on our door um, and was trying to climb. And it sounded really weird. Me and Kat was both like, what the heck is that? Before we looked out the window and saw it was a squirrel. <laughs> but um, they were eating stuff that the birds were knocking out of the bird feeder. And then they just went on their merry way and went back to wherever. It was cute. But, uh, yeah. I can't wait. They are pressure washing the building right now. They're cleaning all the outside of the building, the windows, and the um, all the concrete. So the patios and the sidewalks and all that. So we had to move all of our outdoor stuff in that we could. Like my big planter and Jesse's sandbox is still out there. But everything else we had to bring in. So I'll be glad when they get done with all that. And we can put our porch back together. Because <laughs> I had to bring Jesse's baby gate and everything in. And I brought the strawberry plants in. I just set them back outside today. Because they're in containers that I can carry easily. But there's a whole pile of stuff in my craft area. That is the porch stuff. And I'll be glad to put it all back outside. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm getting some work done. I've done like, um, nine rows. Almost ten whole rows. Since talking. It's just single crochet back and forth. And I'm doing, uh, six rows of each color. Just so that my side... I always end on one side so I can just carry my yarn because that'll be hidden when I go to sew it and if it does poke out a little bit that'll be the back of the wreath so it won't even matter easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> but yeah what else do I got to talk to you about oh I did go back to Hobby Lobby today <laughs> I wanted to go back to see if they had any more of the um I think it's line no yarn B cloud nine or something like that it's kind of like a faux fur yarn but it's not it's different. I'll show it <laughs> in the No Kitchen Name episode if you don't know what it is. I got a bunch of white the other day. And then today I went back and I got some more white. And I got black because I wanted to make um, furry amigurumi cats for my craft fair. That's going to be in October. I'm going to make some like, Halloween-ish cats to, uh, to try to sell. Because it'll be... The craft fair is on the 12th of October. So it'll be a couple weeks before Halloween. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I thought little black cats maybe with like witch hats or something would be cute and I wanted to make them furry so my idea is I'm going to try making an amigurumi pattern with black yarn and then holding that also so that it's um furry kind of like you do with faux fur yarn but it's not actually faux fur it's different <laughs> but it's really nice I like it it's really soft I got a bunch of white because I'm planning on making like sheep amigurumi and then uh the brown I thought would be cute for bears teddy bears or cats or dogs or whatever I don't know that's just my theory I haven't actually tried it yet I don't know how good it's gonna work but uh, I will share it when I try it so you guys can see and if it's a good idea you can take it and run with it I don't care <laughs> and also with the wreath forms the pool needle wreath forms I might um, when I make the next one I might try to film me making it just so if any of you guys are interested in that you can watch um, how I do it or you can just look it up in YouTube. That's how I figured it out is YouTube and Google. 
um, which I'm super excited about because wreath forms are super expensive and uh, it's nice to find a way to cut the cost there. I don't think I would make one for other people unless I was super confident in my taping abilities of closing it to make sure it was super strong closer. But uh, as just being home or like my family members, I would totally gift them that. And um, I guess if you're worried about it coming apart, you could even put a spine in it in the wreath because pool noodles are hollow in the middle. So you could put like um, a wire hanger or something or just some wire through the noodle to help make the hole or you know the form <laughs> and then tape it really good. I just used packaging tape because that's what I had but um, I imagine you could use like electrical tape or duct tape to uh, be super duper st sturdier. <laughs> I don't know but yeah it's working good so far it hasn't popped open yet <laughs> so maybe it won't but um it's like this one up here that i made for the fair last year trying to be without dropping you that wreath that's on one of those wire wreath forms because at the time i needed a wreath form and i couldn't find any foam ones at my walmart and i didn't have the time to go to a craft store uh, so I just got one of the wire ones and wrapped that around there. So it's kind of odd shaped because you know those are like they're circle and then they're kind of bent backwards in another circle. It's not round. It's just like a disc shape almost. But I think with that type of wreath that it is, the way it's done, it looks fine. <sighs> yeah, so I'm blabbing. <laughs> it's been what, 16 minutes of me sitting here blabbing? That's a lot of time, just sitting here crocheting. Gotten that far. Ugh, I got strands. So I've done like 13 rows since talking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably go ahead and let you guys go because I've got to wait for Jesse to wake up. He'll be waking up any minute now. Because he's been asleep for an hour or uh, over an hour. I'm going to sit here and work on this until he wakes up and probably watch some podcasts and try to get caught up a little bit i'm super behind i'm always behind on podcasts but that's okay I'm, I'm working on it and also know if you're a podcaster i do watch every video i just don't always get to comment i try to comment but a lot of times i'm watching it on my laptop or on the tv while i'm doing other things so um you know it cycles through to the next video before i can stop what i'm doing and comment but i do try to sit down and comment <laughs> as much as i can and sometimes i even write comments down on my phone or on, even on a notepad <laughs> like when I'm sewing and watching videos I will write it down on a notepad and then I'll go back and type it in to the video later so if you ever get any weird typoed ones it's probably that <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here uh, it's fun hanging out and chatting for a few minutes <laughs> I like doing crochet and chat sometimes this one was random it didn't really have a point just a time filler and me wanting to talk to somebody <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna try to do some more of these and I will be filming a, um, a new No Catchy Name episode tomorrow and getting it out, hopefully. <laughs> no promises. It may not be until tomorrow night, but hopefully it'll be there. And a big bird just went through. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Also, uh, added in on the end, there are some bags in my Etsy shop. I put some new ones in there. There's some alpaca prints, some a sheep print, some pandas. What else? Some little cute pineapples on the beach. <laughs> And what's the other one? Turtles. The sea turtles one. I love the sea turtles one. I may actually take one set off and just keep it for myself because it's super cute. Um, I haven't made mine yet. Two, three, four, five. But yeah. They're on there. That'll be linked below too. And yeah. So I guess I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.